Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. We are now, now in session. session. Hell that. yeah. <laughs> We're almost in sync, guys. We're almost in sync. <laughs> <laughs> Took us like a couple of tries, but it's all right. <laughs> all right, Charles. Lay it on us, man. All right, guys. So today we have... A little bit of different session because we're going to want to start getting to know each other. So, I mean, we knew each other since we were kids, but now we're going to go into a deeper level because we did some tests. One was a DISC test, which is D-I-S-C, and the other one is a Meyer Briggs type in- indicator. So pretty much is what type of person you are. So with the DISC, the D-I st- stands for dominant, I stands for influencer, S stands for steady, and C stands for calculation and comfort okay so, now let's start with this sam <laughs> i'm gonna have you go first with your disc assessment what are you huh they call me a sd small dick i guess <laughs> uh <laughs> supportive supportive and dominant traits and what about you toby i'm a di what does that stand for uh dominant and what was the other one influence influence <laughs> I'm not very good Inspired. with this, you know what I mean? But yeah, dominant and influence. That's what What about you, have. Sancho Soak? Hey, everybody. It's your boy, LL. But... <laughs> Coming from Mexico. Yeah, he needs and his own all intro. Of a sudden, all yeah. of a sudden, Sam forgot to introduce you back on the show, man. Oh, right? welcome back. Dang. Welcome back. Welcome we just back. jumped straight into this. Sancho. Like... Sancho Lucky. You know, we, we <laughs> have you sitting there looking all handsome. You look like you grew a mustache. I know, bro. A little bit of uh, chest hair, too. And you know, you got a little tan. I definitely grew some chest hair. Um, oh, this is what we're afraid of. Over here in Mexico, I appreciate the guys hooking me up on this session right now. So that blow up doll does a lot of work, man. So I hope that the viewers get to see me. Um, that's how I look like when I'm not home. So. <laughs> you, so you think you're that skinny, huh? <laughs> Damn. That's how we're going to start it off. Okay. Oh. Okay. I hope, I hope in months. I hope. I hope in two months that'll be a different conversation, Charles. Why don't you guys talk about that little bet you guys have? You know what? So okay, yeah. let's before we get into this session. So Lucky yeah. and I are having a weight loss competition up to November twentieth, twenty twenty two, to see who loses the most weight, and the loser has to host a Thanksgiving dinner. So Lucky think he has a chance against me for some reason. Wait a minute. I thought you guys were going to grow out your hair. I thought you were going to grow out your hair and Lucky was going to shave his head. Oh, wait. Yeah. I was thinking about changing up the bet. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So, so instead of doing Thanksgiving dinner, like, are you down to bet if you lose to me, shave your head? You know what? Because because I have so much confidence in myself. <laughs> <laughs> and- I haven't been bald in a while, but I'm getting I'm more bald. I'm having airlines and everything, but why you got to put me on the <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Uh, Charles has been bald a long time, too. I sort of want to see him with hair. Yeah, we want to see him with hair. Yeah, that's, that's a difference. And that's going to take me at least a year to grow it out, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's going to take me some time to grow it out. But you know what? If you want to do this, if you want to do this, be what is it for me though? I can't you shave your head. No, he's got. <laughs> no, grow he has it to grow out. his hair. To grow it out. He has to grow it out. That ain't never gonna work. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so another thing is, lucky thing, he has more hair than I do. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we don't want to count pubes now, man. <laughs> okay. You know, I think I think we'll stick with the Thanksgiving. I all think right, all right. So fair enough. So we'll stick with the Thanksgiving so, dinner. And now, Lucky, tell us about the this assessment. Did you take it? You know, I did. This is my first time actually taking the disc. I thought it was. I used it on like surveys or assessments, even though I'm a therapist myself. Um, but I think that was important for me to to see that. I kind of knew a little bit of my traits already, um, and it kind of did. It, it hit it right on. So. I think that this was was something different as far as assessment and character wise and attributes, but I've done a few in the, in the past, but very similar to that. But I think that um, I think it was great for me to to kind of see that, and I think even for our audience too, you know, that's something that they could take too if they wanted to get to know a little bit about themselves. But I did do it. Mine is more towards a protagonist 
Oh. No, 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 no. We're not that's, there yet. We're not there, we're not yet. there we're not, yet. We're not, we're not that Myers hey, Briggs slow, yet. Slow your roll. Slow your roll, yeah. Slow your roll, man. Slow man, your roll, bro. The disc, the D I S C. Yeah, you want to keep your temperature at 68 right now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what, was, what was the D again? What was the D again? D is uh, dominant or direct. I, I is inspiring, influencing. S is steady, supportive, supportive. And C is uh, more calculation and, and cautious. Yeah. I'm more dominant and also I as well. D and I. Yeah, that's like me. D okay. I. Now, yeah. do you actually take the test or you just made that up on the spot? <laughs> no, I didn't take it. I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually going through my phone right now and looking at the screen as, as I'm talking so to you So he's guys. taking okay, the okay, test okay, so as we're test. doing. All right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he, took the test. he just got done with it. <laughs> oh, you guys are getting me today. <laughs> 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 Back. Watch. Back. <laughs> so okay now because with the uh, this assessment there's also a natural state and an adaptive state so the natural state is when you're just being yourself adaptive state is when you're around other people where you have to adapt yourself a little bit because for my test i was uh high i high d but then when i'm around other people that i have to you know kind of blend in a little bit my d goes down a lot and my i went up and then the S and the C also went up. Just so you got to you got to explain that a little better for the audience, though. Because oh, you, get there. yeah, get you there. can't just go D I D I D okay, S. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, one second, bro. One second. <laughs> hey, get in there, bro. Hey, hey. I'm alone. <laughs> yeah, this is this is a whole dialogue I had, bro, written down in my hand right now, bro. Like, give me a second. <laughs> Anyways, uh, dominant a D is dominant and direct. So like, you don't like small talk. You just want to get straight to the answer. I is a talker, the influencer. Wants to talk to everybody, making everybody feels comfortable and inspire people. Mm -hmm. S is steady, like to keep things, you know, neutral and not, they don't like changes. And C is more cautious in the sense of like, they need to know all the answers before they make a decision. Okay. They want to be comfortable. They want to be like uh, asking a hundred questions just so that way they know everything fully before they make a decision. So C and S, I'm pretty low on because... I'm more direct and influencer where I just want to know the answer now and go ahead and make the decision now versus waiting for, you know, stats or anything like that. Yeah, I didn't dive too deep into all the stats like that. All I know is mine was kind of pretty close to similar all across the board. Um, so Charles kind of uh, read it out to us uh, beforehand. Um, he can explain a lot of my stats better than I can. Um, in, in other words, mine was kind of more of even keel across the way. And whereas but Toby's more extreme. Yes. My, I, mine was Charles, pretty extreme. Mine was pretty extreme because, you no, know, I was D and I across the board. And, you know, whether uh, external or internal, it, mine stayed pretty much uh, similar, you know. So what? I don't change uh, as but much. But yours, Toby, your test is completely different from anybody's test I've ever seen because on your natural state, your D is pretty much almost 100%. And I've never seen anybody's uh, D being a dick that bad. <laughs> <laughs> and it, well, you know, Charles. <laughs> I know a dick when I see one. Exactly, right? <laughs> well, you and, know what they say. The girls love it, right? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it, it was weird. It was, it, it was just weird across the board like for Charles to point that out. And I thought, like, what do you mean you've never seen that? You know, like, you know, I thought it was just similar and normal, you know. But once I seen Charles and Sam's... Uh, chart i'm like oh man something must be wrong with me no nothing is wrong <laughs> nothing's with you. wrong you're if you're I answering never said yeah. i'm just trying to say it might be it's not you know yeah. <laughs> and lucky look like he got something to say i see his lip just moving around right now he's licking his lip i knew it yeah. i knew it so, as, as i think about this test i think about sometimes those attributes those persona change in different environments i think you highlight something really important charles when i'm in a different setting some of those letters tend to be at a lower number lower pace right when i'm in a setting with a lot of directors or a lot of people with, in higher position my demeanor changes a little bit i'm i'm, I'm more of a what's the influencer and the the the, C, the s i'm one of those mm -hmm. so i think in certain environments it also changes too and I look at that sometimes, and that's why my behavior changes sometimes when I see those people. So, mm -hmm. so can I interject real quick? So yeah. um, those questions, they kind of direct you into like a work environment, personal environment. So they already stated throughout the, the, 
the you know the course of the test so these numbers are kind of associating how you know you would react to certain situations already so mm-hmm. when when they come up with that you're a d and i it's kind of like an overall type of uh you know accumulative type of uh assessment yeah no 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 i know I, I totally get it but what i'm saying is the environment changes and those overall answers could possibly change too i took that test knowing that those are the things that i know at that moment at that time and, and an overall look of where i am the last since i was born oh yeah 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 and I, think, and I think about it sometime i go man i'm not too dominant like i think i am there's times where i am but there's times where i'm actually pretty passive i actually listen i'm like hey mm-hmm. you know what you know, I like I like to listen a little bit more. I don't have to be the main guy all the time. There's things that I've seen <laughs> as I'm not, I, oh, 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 not yet. yet. So So we we were just saying because Charles was saying that he's he's never seen a chart like mine where my D and I was the same on both sides. And one was what? And then on your adaptive, one, your S is pretty much zero. And usually some Usually so people when have somewhat of a supportive. Like, when I'm in uh, an environment where I don't know anybody, I don't really care about who's there, right? Yes. Well, not just no. not just that. Like around group of friends at right. work, right. it's like the S stand for steady and supportive. Right. Probably because you don't like having the same environment, so you always want changes. Yeah. yeah. So that's why the S is lower. You are always looking for the next challenge. You don't right. like things to stay right. Right. mundane. Right. I want to say consistent because you are consistent in the work wise, but don't look up. Don't look up. Look Look at Don't look in my eye, Charles. But, but, but yeah, so like you just like to change things up and yeah. have new challenges yeah. where people with a high S like to keep things the same. Right. They don't like changes. They want to know what their day is going to look like. Right, right. right. So, so when I see like extreme numbers like that, I see a guy that, that sees everything in black and white. There's no really too that many gray right, areas. Bro. That is right. I right. Black so so that, that, that's my, I, I don't really know the, his stats. I didn't read into it. But when I saw extremes like that, I know this guy's black and white. <laughs> yep, I'm black and white. I mean, we already said that. Yeah. Charles said I was black and white and he's more yeah, gray. Because, you know? That's why Toby's uh, thing is like 100% D and a 0% S because this is just black and white, whereas mm-hmm. we're kind of in the gray area where we have a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And for the re- if the listeners is wondering why are we talking about this, is because we're trying to teach you or for, um, let you guys know this is about communication. Whether you're a high I, D, S, or C, it doesn't make, mean you're bad or good. It just means that you need to know how the person you're communicating with and how they understand what you're saying. So when I'm talking to Toby, I'm not doing like a whole backstory. I'm just giving you straight answers. Yeah, I don't need the detail. Yep. And mm-hmm. then when there's somebody like Lucky where, you know, he's a high I, and sometimes we just got to talk about, you know, you know everything before he, um, we get to the answer. And Sam, we kind of like, you know, got to go da- over every single question before we come up with an answer like make make sure he feels comfortable feels safe before i give a, yeah. an appropriate response yeah that's true that's true so now let's go ahead and change it up uh, a little bit into the personality type the meyer briggs type indicator so this test is tells us about the type of person that we are so I'm going to start with Toby on this one. Why well, you got to start with me? <laughs> well, because I already started with Sam first. So now, like, I just got to change it up because my eyes are already on you. So let's go. All right. All right. Yeah, I'm just cool. You know. So do you guys want to know my type or? What is your type? Tell me what's your type. Well, you know, I like it tall, slender, and uh, blonde. Oh. <laughs> uh, does it have to be natural blonde? Well, you know, they could do what they want. Well, hey. I like how he has his voice all deep when he said what he right. likes. You know, I got to change the <laughs> vibration a little bit. You know? But no, my type is uh, e- ENTP from that myers break that we did. Mm-hmm. And um, they call it the debater type. And um, from what I read of my personality, it said that, you know, I'm very argumentative, right? Yes. Like, I-, I like to go against the grain. I like to not follow the rules. And I like to, you know, kind of just question everything right Not nothing is off limit you know i would question whatever it is whatever you anybody tells me i would break it down i would dissect it and i would say you know what what about this what about this you know and 
and you know i do get a kick out of it you know yeah it, he loves the chaos me, you know what I mean? he I loves the, I chaos. Love the chaos you know what i mean yeah and then he likes fixing the chaos i do yeah i do you know so you like to uh create problems just so you can solve it yourself no when i see <laughs> problems and stuff sometimes i do you know like hey you know what maybe i could fix this or i like to push button the biggest thing uh, the biggest <laughs> thing on that personality thing was like hey this guy he likes to push button for no reason and you know i think back i do <laughs> so so you're like donald trump where you'll say things to get people pissed off and then you like just to see the reaction yeah. right yeah, yeah just to see the reaction i'm like oh yeah you know this is what i like to do you know and it's not that it's not that maybe it's right or wrong it's just that what what can i do in order to invoke an emotion yes right? and and i think that you know for me i get a kick out of it you know <laughs> nice. All right. Now let me go to the Lucky because I see his face right out. He's, he's ready. ready. He's, he's ready, ready to jump in. And so, what are oh, you? No, I'm, I'm just listening to it. I think I think it's great that you know hearing. I haven't heard from Sam and Charles yet, but I think you want me to ask you, you a question first. It's about. <laughs> Go ahead, Sam. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> what is your personality type? <laughs> that's that's my first question. <laughs> Well, you know, I did, I did that. I did that test too, and I think that um, I'm very, I'm very dominant. I want to be kind of the main character type person in the movies, and <laughs> you know, in spaces that I want to be in. So, uh, a, a, a protagonistic person, um, you know, wants to change over the course, but also wants to be that very front end of the line, the, the leader of the group. So I'm, I'm, I think I fit I fit that role I see that myself in that role even in the spaces that I work in you know and so um, um, there's limited personalities like myself but um, I, I, I accept the challenge and I embrace the challenge um, that's why I'm in so real quick um, because you kind of went over it real fast and so what is your character type what was the it's, test result yeah, a, a protagonistic person. Let me let me go read that real quick. So that way you guys get the other definition of it. You know, uh, really extroverted individual, um, social interaction type individual, enthusiastic, expresses excitement. I'm always upbeat. Never you can never find me sad unless something happens. Open minded, curious. Unless we're talking uh, shit to him, huh? Yeah. Ooh. Um, <laughs> He didn't catch that. Oh, you didn't catch that. <laughs> Good. Go ahead. So, like, keep going. Keep going. Or you're frozen. He's frozen no, in time. Frozen. Let me finish that for him. All right. So before <laughs> Sam gets so into this real quick. Into, like, let, let's uh, let's you know, finish uh, each other's each um, personality other, yeah. first. Okay. So while Lucky is um, frozen in thoughts and on a computer, he's a protagonist, <laughs> which is a big dreamer. Mm -hmm. And they like to see them self doing this big grand gestures right. and they may or may not know how to get there but they dream super big they're visionaries yeah visionaries yeah, they're visionaries like they like what's his name elon musk where elon he wants musk. to go live on mars, mars. Right. Yeah. so that's lucky for you okay and then for me my came out to be an assertive campaign campaigner campaigner yeah that was what it was campaigner so i guess i'm supposed to be a politician because i'm walking around campaigning all the time and for a campaigner is a person that's easygoing that likes to talk likes to get along with everybody don't really like confrontations and just want to be on everybody's side so like this could be you know person a person b they don't get along but somehow i find my way to find the common grounds for everyone and, and myself, I'm a commander type. I'm a type A personality. Um, I'm more direct. I am. I speak my mind. I need a task. I get it done. Um, there is no like what ifs and ands. I just need to get it done. And um, that's that's how I've been. I guess you know what I, I can't say that I've been like that my entire life. Let's get a little deeper into it. Uh, that kind of grew within me as as my career grew so it wasn't like i had it i didn't know i had this commander type until like i had this job for the last couple of years and i'm like okay you put me in a leadership role and then i kind of excelled at it and then when i started answering these questions it's like holy shit this is this is how i do things i guess it fits right 
So um, commander types, uh, yeah, we don't take no shit. We're kind of combative in uh, social situations, especially when uh, a debater like Toby here uh, says something that I disagree with. I would be kind of the first one to tell him, like, no, nah, I disagree. This is how I feel it should go. Um, so that that's my type personality um, that that kind of grew within me. It was just never really there until till recently. So now with all these personalities, yeah. there's pros and cons for each one of us. And for Lucky and I, we're more of a diplomat type. And for Toby and Sam, they're more of a, um, what would you say we're more analysts. analysts. We're more like... Um, analytical. Yeah, analytical. We would Direct. dissect everything. And we would be more more like logical. You know, yeah. we would be more... Not, not necessarily get our feelings involved. What we would do is kind of take our feelings out of it and make the best possible course of yeah. action based on whatever it is there. You know? yeah, so, yeah, so we take emotions. Efficient, yeah, right? yeah. Uh, yeah, efficiency. There's the yeah, go. Efficiency. There you go. Yeah. So it, it, we take emotion out of it. For the sake of efficiency. Right. So what I'm hearing is Lucky is a little too emotional. Got oh. it. Whoa. <laughs> what the? <laughs> but you know, uh, from what I read, I think Lucky and Charles um, has more of make make their decision based on their heart, where we yes. make our decision based on our brain, you mm-hmm. know, our, 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 our thinking abilities, you know. And so I think that's the difference. And I think this group that we have right now is is so strong. Each one of us is so strong that, you know, we're we're both leaders and we're both vocal in our opinions and the facts and you know like lucky was saying you know we want to be the forefront of everything you know and and for us to be here in the same room talking about these things man it it's a beautiful thing yeah. it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful thing. thing baby <laughs> so, oh, oh, so oh, he, he lit up so so i, I want to bring analytics and, and numbers to to the forefront here so let's just say charles campaigner about four percent of the population is, is a campaigner campaigner debater two percent toby Lucky, protagonist, two to three percent. Commander, two percent. That's like ten, like you know, less than ten percent of the, or, or about ten percent of the population in itself is within this mm-hmm. this table right here. Wow, that's that's insane. That that we found each other and we kind of grew into this role. Yeah, and and you know, to 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 piggyback on that, it's what Charles been. Damn it. I can't hear you right now. We lost. We lost. Lucky again, guys. Hey, let's, let's start again, hey, Lucky. We, we think, I think that if we if we were all the same, right? If we had the same characteristics and personality, this group would never make it. Nope. No. no. We, we probably never make it. And I think it's it's a, a respecting. Of yes. We lost Lucky <laughs> again. Yeah. He but, loves making these faces and know, holding he it. He loves making faces. <laughs> a bit he, sentence. He's pretending. I know. Like, you know, when you make a phone call to somebody, right? And then you don't want to talk to him. You're like, you're, you're, break, break, break. So, I don't know. Lucky, you know, know. he's in Mexico enjoying that taco too much. You know, like, he, uh, he, he keeps saying. It's raining over here. There's a thunderstorm over here, too, right oh, now. Oh, wow. okay, okay. So, that's not your stomach, yeah. then. Yeah. You got, you got to put your, 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 your tinfoil hat on, bro. <laughs> you always talk about my stomach a lot. I, I, I never <laughs> said anything about your stomach. Okay. <laughs> no, no, he said Charles. He okay, said okay. Charles. I was like, <laughs> fin- finish your no, thought, Lucky. What were you saying? No, the piggyback. I think is awesome that we all have different personality, and that's what makes the, this group so unique. And then even for me, right, being the last member of this group, that's the first thing I took back with me that day after I did the session. I said. Man, dude, I'm in a group with three different personalities. This shit may actually work. You know what I mean? <laughs> and that's something I picked up really, really quick. And you know me, I, I as a therapist myself, I analyze personality a lot. You know, I, I know Sam since high school. I know him always to be very introverted a little bit, but he has grown and flourished so much. And his personality has changed a little bit. And that's amazing. You know, and Charles, too. Tar used to be the quiet one in the room, but now he's over here doing different things to himself. You know what I mean? He got his own company. I'm glad we had back. But that is the key. When I think about this jam, I think about this a second. I think about how teammate, teamwork is supposed to work. And for this type of personality, it's meant to mess with each other. 
I don't think I I don't think our personality kind of mesh with each other. I think what it is is we we kind of work together out of respect. You know, because we do respect each other that much in order to hear each other's opinion, in order to work toward a common goal, you know. I mm-hmm. mean, I think that's, that's like you were saying, it's, it's very beautiful to see something happen because, you know, in our community itself, you know, we, we have a lot of different personalities that don't really see eye to eye, that don't really, you know, want to listen to each other. Yeah, they want to one-up you know, each they other. They want to one-up on each other. And, yeah. and And I think for us to make this happen with our... A type personality. There's all of us here is A type mm-hmm. personality, you know. And right. for us to sit at the same table, talk about you know stuff that matters, talk about stuff that's gonna change the world, talk about being that bridge to to bring people together. Mm-hmm. I think like like you say, this is this is gonna work. We're gonna make something happen, you know. See, for me, like I do agree with Lucky, where it's not only mesh, we complement each other's personality because right. we're different, but. If you look at a business, everybody have their own role. There's right. a CEO, CFO, and COO. They all have different mm-hmm. responsibility. And even with employees and managers, like employees could have a different mindset from what a manager does, right. and a managers could have a different mindset with a CEO. That's why, like, if there's no connection between the head to the tail, that's where the disconnect and the business doesn't flourish as much. So when you find somebody in the middle that could, you know, communicate with the the regular employee versus and with the CEO and stuff that's where the business start growing and what are you gonna say lucky well I think I also think I also think that with the personality comes with different skill sets Mm -hmm. right Right. Toby myself you I I I don't know how to do a lot of things that Toby or Sam does or Carl does and that's why I said that that place is unique because there's things that I don't know that you guys are experts at and, and vice versa, right? And that's why I say, yeah, this is this is a good oh. bond of chemistry because there's things that I don't that you know, Charles. Yeah. You know what I mean? And at when I talk about mesh, I talk about those things coming together mm-hmm. to bring together, you know. So that's a common piece that I found in this group that be very, very um, effective in the future. <laughs> You know, for for me, you know, starting this podcast, you know, there was stuff that we didn't know that we no. could do, right? No. And so, you know, when we started this thing, you know, we had to figure out what to do. We <clears throat> had to figure out the sound. We had to figure yep. out the video. You know, we didn't know, you know, but we did take the time to figure out what to do because right. this yes. is something, hey, you know, this is an objective. This is something that we need to learn and we need to grow as people. I don't like doing sound, but you know, it's like I had to learn because you know I want to make this dream happen. You know what I but mean? But you took the yes. initiative. Yeah, you know, yeah. You, you, took the you, initiative. you have to take that initiative in order to accomplish a task. And you know, it, <clears throat> it, it comes down to my personality to where you know what, I'm more of like I need to find out the the knowledge, right? Mm-hmm. I have to find out the knowledge for me. That's what gets everything going for me, and that's what I like to do. And maybe I want to use it in a debate. You know, yeah. maybe I want to use to argue, you know, and that, yeah. that just fits into what a mass yeah. debater. <laughs> it yes. is a, a master debater. Hey. Yes. <laughs> debater you said it mass. wrong, bro. <laughs> Debaters of the mass. Mass debaters. <laughs> well, also, like um, when we were divvying up like each other's role, you know, with you doing the audio or technical stuff is more of analytic. Right. Where for me and Lucky, we were more of. We just go out and talk and campaign and diplomat. So we were reaching out to people and promoting and all that. So we have stuff. direct, me and you, we have direct roles? Yes. So No, not we, really, we have direct not, roles. Not, not, not really direct role. I think it's more like, because all of us are extroverts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, all of us are extroverts. Oh, we're going to get back to that right there, too. You know, yeah. but, but the thing is, it's, it's more like we, we take a methodical approach mm-hmm. you okay. know, to, to, yeah. to these things, right? As, as with Lucky and... And uh, and Charles, they're more of like a free thinker. Okay, this should work. And this should work. Here, take my it. money. Yeah, take whatever my you money. guys need. You have this. Take it. You know, and, and it's like they don't know what they're buying. You know what I mean? It's like that. Is that like also for us? We're like, okay, this feels like when we listen to their podcast, like this doesn't feel right. Yeah, we need to fix something. Feeling, do whatever. Yeah, like, went off oh, the yeah. the video or this sound doesn't feel right. Like, hey, you guys need to figure out how to fix this shit. Mm-hmm. But we just know what's wrong. <laughs> But no, you know, no, to also, go ahead. It's also judge, it's also judgment too. Like, mm-hmm. if I if I see something characteristic in Sam or Toby or Charles, I know they're good at that. 
So for me, once I see that, I trust that. So if mm -hmm. Cam said, Ucky, I need $150, I trust him to say, right. hey, he's using it. He's using it for something because I yes. know it's part of our work. work. Same right. way as Toby. Hey, hey, so I need you to grab food today. Okay, man, I'll go grab food yep. because I know that he don't have time to do all that. Yep. Right. Right. Yep. Right? Or, or, or that, I know that. And that's and be part of me being the director in every staff that I know, I have to understand those characteristics for me to make a decision. But I, I mean, know it, that it, it, go ahead, Lucky, finish. Finish your thought. Yeah, and I have to. I have to have trust in that person right. yes. in order for that person, you know what I mean? In order that person to flourish and be in the position they they are in and to make the best decision for us. Right. For, for us, us. for us, for us. Yes. For us. Right. Yeah. I think I think everybody's in the same role here because you know like I was saying you know everybody is a leader in their own right you know mm -hmm. with Charles with his you know realtor and investing Sam with his um you know PT and me you know what you know we have our own businesses so you know we we're, we're in a position to where we have to lead a company and we need to make sure the numbers are correct just what we were talking with Henry you know a couple of sessions ago you know like we we got to make sure we understand you know everybody else's life just like with a director like you you know is is in our hands so if we make the wrong decision you know it, it could affect many more than one life not just yeah. ours mm -hmm. you know it, it affects many people down the line right. so when you're looking at these numbers you're like oh you know what i can't give out raises or you know what i can't you know do this uh, company picnic or party or whatnot they're looking at it from a broader perspective as far as okay can we keep this company afloat mm -hmm. for another six months, one year, you know, two years down the line? They're thinking the bigger picture, just like how Lucky was saying, you know, because he's looking at it from a broader perspective. Mm -hmm. right. Now, I want to want to run it back to you where you're talking about we're all extroverted. And so I want to talk about extroverted and introvert because a lot of people see me and they think I'm extrovert when I really, well, I'm half half extrovert and introvert. And for me, I would call myself an extroverted introvert, meaning that when I'm out and around people, I'm talkative and I, you know, like to, to talk to people. But in, deep down, I'm an introvert because that's what uh, recharges me. So, extroverted introvert meaning what charges your energy. So, so I'm thinking, um, I think uh, an ambivert. Hold up, because. Let me finish. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You just you just Anyways, went on yourself. No, no, no. Because uh, you went 50-50. That's no, no, because close as ambivert as possible. No, no. Uh, well, it is ambivert, but I'm trying to explain what char uh, what the difference between extrovert and introvert is. It's not being shy or talkative. It's about what recharges your energy. Extrovert like to be around people. And that, that's what their energy is coming from. Mm -hmm. Introvert is like being by themselves or like reading a book right. and going for a long walk. That's where you're... You recharge yourself. Let, let, let me um kind of um simplify that. Yes. You know, for for Charles, I think what Charles is saying is that you know he's talking about the energy in. Oh yeah, world, yeah, I, I understand where, that where energy. Where he's saying, you know, as an extrovert, you know, you gain um energy. Yeah. From being around people, you know, mm -hmm. you, right. you, you want to go out and socialize. You want to go out and do things with people. That's what gives you motivation and energy. As with an introvert, they would rather be in solitude right they would rather be mm -hmm. to themselves and uh, they get energy from that you know and in, in introvert um i i agree with charles too i i think we're i'm i'm pretty introverted myself even though from the exterior standpoint i can be extroverted when i'm in like a, a large group but at the same time man it, it, it's it's tiring to me when i get mm -hmm. home i'm just like fuck it's draining dude. Um, I just need time to myself, unwind, or maybe just even, uh, you know, recovery day from all the binge drinking, right, with the, those damn extroverts. But, um, yeah. but yeah, that, that's, I think that's, that's everybody. Everybody has a little, there's no too extreme of an introvert and an extrovert. I think we all have a little uh, tendency to, to swing one way or the other, and then, pull energy from the extrovert side or the introverted side. I think um, I, I didn't let I'm, I do apologize to Charles that I, I didn't let him finish, but I think that's where he was going. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, also like for me, when people see me out around people, I talkative and, you know, people like having me around because it's fun. But then <laughs> at the same time, like I can't wait to go home and just, you know, watch TV by myself. Like what? When I'm done with work or with my friends, I just want to go home, watch TV, and just kind of be in peace and quiet. 
But then this another thing is introverted extrovert, where they are really an extrovert, but they're shy. So like if you, I don't know if you ever seen people that goes to every function, every party, but they'll stay quietly to themselves. And or, or within their well, that comes uh, down yeah. to that that one thing you were talking about where you know that extra was it the D and I or whatever yeah that the, uh, that's, a, that's what it comes down yeah to, right? so they're probably more of S and a so, C so they tie together yeah so for those people like a lot of time like you you see them quiet by themselves and you think oh man they're not having a good time but then next thing you know when they're telling a story they're having the best time of their life and for those people like they're a little shy and once you start talking to them they talk nonstop and they just want to keep on talking and talking I don't know um. I can't think of an example of a person that, like that at the moment, but I know we all have seen those people. Right. Where like they just kept talking. Yeah, but, talking. but that, that comes with um, their interest too, mm -hmm. right? So if, when they're interested in something, like an introvert, when they're interested in something, it's more of their explanation and how they perceive things and their level of thinking in that certain situation. That would, that, that would excite, that's what excites them. Um, so I think, that is where the energy is coming from when you see a person standing at one room or you know one end of the room and just by themselves and then you get and you're extroverted so so you go talk to this person right and you just you just want to bring them in right and and just bring up anything that that you can relate to them and and they they come up with this situation you're listening now now you're kind of introverted cuz you don't want to interject this person so 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 an introvert to me doesn't necessarily mean they want to be alone it it's who they're comfortable with in in explaining their story you want to you want to add anything to that to well, me? i can uh, all that something of course but tell me, what are, add that are, you, are you an extrovert introvert a mix of both you know what do you feel me, like you are? i think i'm more of uh, an extrovert i always you know for me like you know in the way i approach life is i'm more of a I watch, right? I observe and I collect information and then I make decisions. I adapt, right? Mm -hmm. I adapt my personality to to uh, to situation that I'm in. You know, if someone is more um, energy is more higher than me, then I would raise my energy level in mm -hmm. order to match that, right? In order mm -hmm. to, to blend in with the uh, the surroundings that I'm in, you know. What about if the energy is low? If the energy is low, I get out of there, bro. I, I can't be around, um, you know, people with low energy. You know, negative energy, low energy. Like, but it just but negative me. and low energy is two different yeah, for us, bro. You know, but they're on the same vibration level. You yeah. Know? And, and, and and so when I feel that, because I'm, I'm more sensitive to energy. And mm -hmm. so when I go into a house or a room or with people that is really low energy, I just get drained, you know. And so, you know, my, my, my extrovert side, like, dude, I can't go in there and bring that energy up you know so i would mm -hmm. just get out of there you know see and toby he's everything black and white that's right. why mine and yours is a little bit of uh i'm a little bit of this a little bit of that toby's right. just extrovert yeah, yeah. because the you know it's black and white extrovert. That's yeah it. you know if i go in there you're extrovert. cool let's party you know yep. let's, let's do this you know <laughs> but if you go in there and you're all sad and stuff I if i come to you stam and you're like have tears in your eye i'm like you know what sam i'm gonna see you later <laughs> <laughs> you know what I, I i probably wouldn't show that side but of me but I would be like T first right why are you crying get up <laughs> I would tell him the same thing why kick you a couple bitch, times you know? yeah, yeah kick you a up. couple times yeah. oh you you crying crying yeah, alright I'm out of here yeah, <laughs> <laughs> exactly you're like oh, oh this is serious <laughs> what about you Lucky what do you feel like you are you know, I have my oh, opinion you guys, you guys have probably know what I am um, I'm more of an extrovert you know and I lean maybe 85% of that towards extrovert mm -hmm. the only 15 the only 15 that i'm introvert is when i think it depends on situation like toby mentioned for me um if there's if there's a situation where um the food is not right whatnot if it's not oh my, food my food event, food huh are you going on this diet <laughs> plan and the first no, thing you no, bring no, up I'm, is food no i'm not like more, I meant more like groups. Like, okay. If, it, if it's not, if it's not within, if it's not within my, you know, my my main uh, interest, then I tend to stay a little bit quiet. Only because the person that's facilitating, the persons that doing it, I want them to take ownership of all that, you know. But mm -hmm. if there's a party that's not cracking the way it's supposed to crack, and someone says, "Hey, Lucky." Can you turn this up a notch? I would do it. That's me. The life of the party, huh? Uh-huh. Well, what would you do to turn up a party? Huh? What would you do to turn up a party? 
I take my shirt off. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> <laughs> if it gets if it gets a little boring, clothes is coming off. <laughs> turn up, turn up. Yeah, yeah man. Um, majority of the time, I'm an extrovert, and you guys probably know it. I have to be the center of attention all the time. Look at me. Uh, yes, look at me. <laughs> Mister, look at me. Look at me. Mister, look at me. It's not L. Cool, lucky oh, is L. Well, look at me. And you know, and and. and you know, ladies love cool lucky. That's what it is. Hey. <laughs> so but like, I can do it too. <laughs> <laughs> so, so when you and your personality type came out as protagonist, I was like, oh man, that's just lucky because he, you remind me of this little five year old boy <laughs> when you're like able to do something. You come, look, Ma, look at me, look at me, uh, look at what I could do. <laughs> now, there's there's the code that they use right for a protagonist. You guys remember what what it was like? E E N. I don't. Or? I, I don't remember the, the exact codes for myself or any of you guys. So I'm just gonna be upfront with that. So maybe Charles can well, help you out. I don't. I don't remember the the number and the letters. Yeah. But all of us is assertive. So assertive protagonist, assertive debater, assertive uh, commander, commander assertive. assertive campaigner, yeah. and it's also a passive one. So there's different letters and. For all you listeners here, if you guys want to try to take the DISC assessment or the Myers-Briggs assessment, we'll have the link on our Spotify descriptions or on our YouTube. Just click the link. <laughs> Just click the link. Click the link. It's right probably down here. here. Well, we'll have it. We'll have we got it. you guys right here. <laughs> all right, Let's Toby. See here. E- Toby's coming e- with the receipts. ENFP. That's Charles. That's that's the, um, what is it? The, campaigner. Uh, campaigner. Campaigner. ENTP. That's me, the um, debater. Uh, ENFJ, that's um, Lucky, the um, protagonist. And the ENTJ, that's uh, Sam. So what does those letters stand for? I don't know. That's just the label that they use okay. for that 16 person. I was hoping yes. that someone could explain that. But yeah, well, that's, that's the letters they use. But I, I, I didn't really read into it. I, I just made sure I was ready to roast you guys yeah, was, today. <laughs> so, uh, we lost Lucky? Yeah, uh, Lucky. Oh, call failed. So Mr. Sancho is here for, um, for Lucky. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is Lucky right here. Orale. So we didn't get a chance to uh, catch Lucky's, um, what was it? the end of it because we wanted to ask which Marvel character falls into his characteristic. Right. Oh, and, this is awesome. Yeah, so let's get into that. Toby, you want to go first with the what your character is? Well, my character is uh, Iron Man, Tony Stark. Oh, that's that, what, that's, that's what, what I was that, telling that him. It, it was so freaking um, so true because he's a misogynist. He's <laughs> egotistical, <laughs> right? Yep. He oh, is yes. to himself. He wants to debate anything, and he'll he'll direct, kind of kind of in a leadership type role, right? Mm-hmm. Right? right. But but Captain want, America what, is the leader, I, bro. No, but, <laughs> but I, I, he doesn't want to be the leader. <laughs> but he, he just, always he wants to be, be in charge, but he does not want to be the leader. He, <laughs> exactly, not, he doesn't exactly. want to be the one responsible, <laughs> but he wants to be but, in charge of everything. But you know, I'm more uh, autonomous, right? I'm, I'm more mm-hmm. like uh, I work well more in a freedom role, right? Like I, I work more. Not really leading, but lead, but from a distance. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Whereas like, I more lead more, more directly. More direct. You're more yeah. on the ground. You're more boots yeah. on the ground. Yeah. Right? That's how you lead. And you that's, that's probably why I'm, I'm more of a Captain America type type of uh, personality. And that, that will lead to the commander role. So, yeah. So. <laughs> that is so funny. When we looked it up, I go, man, when, when I seen Captain America, <laughs> mm-hmm. dude, yeah, that, that is yeah. Sam. It does, yeah. it boots does on the ground. You, get, you know? get dirty, bro. That That's, that's kind of me. <laughs> And so, Charles, what was yours, Charles? I'm the Spider Man. Yeah, I'm the what's his uh, neighborhood, friendly neighborhood, friendly neighborhood. Yeah. yeah, the Tom Holland Spider Man. Yeah, yeah, so that's, so that's you're, you you protect the, the the friends and family, friends people family. I care about. Yeah, people that I don't even know, but you know, I'm there to make everybody feel safe. Oh yeah. So. And also naive. Naive, yes. <laughs> Very naive. Very naive. <laughs> like you have the grand idea, right? I know. Yeah. You let so you Iron Man take there. you to space, bro? Yeah. Like, <laughs> I go out there. Well, I mean, I, I, I go out you, there. Hey, I, Mr. Starks. Go Mr. Starks. <laughs> I can do this, Mr. Starks. <laughs> no, no, go home. <laughs> hey, Mr. Starks, I'm here to help you. <laughs> no, when I seen that one of mine, I'm like, man, you know what? I, I am pretty aggressive like that. Like, uh, you know, where, 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 where I use my word to kind of get around that. You know? Is that Sancho? Lucky? Sancho Lucky. Yeah, he, he was back in. So... Yeah, um, with Spider-Man, he likes to be there 
well, at least the Tom Holland one, he wants to be there to help the Avengers, but he's not quite ready. Right. And but then he does make a difference in the you know the plot. So, oh wait, Lucky's coming back in. So let Hello. him in. finish your thought, bro. Kind of lost it a little bit. Sam, help me out. So, I left that. <laughs> so uh, Tom Holland's. Um, but yeah. So I'm catching back up on. So, <laughs> he's like, hey, let me help okay, you out. Shut up, Captain America. <laughs> Captain America is a little boring. He's just cute and sexy. That's it. <laughs> Yeah, I don't really say much. He's too, too righteous. You want to follow the rule? See, I don't want to follow the rule. See, I make the best speeches though. Yeah, you do. Yes. And with Tom Holland, I don't know. To me, Spider- uh, Tom Holland Spider Man is the best one of all three. I think I agree. You want to you want to dive into Tobey Maguire, Tom uh, or Spider Man? Well, I don't know. I don't know too much about Tobey Maguire and in Spider Man. Well, I mean, I've seen it once or twice. Of uh, Tobey Maguire. So you're a new Marvels fan. Yes. Oh no, because <laughs> I like watch the other ones, but they kind of all just kind of bland to me. Well, that's Sony. That's why. Yes, because the Tom Holland one, it's actually make me laugh, and I like comedy and actions together. But that fits your persona really well because he's very, very friendly. You know, mm-hmm. very, um, mm-hmm. the friendly neighborhood Spider Man, and and and, 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 and I agree oh, that really him, fits. We got him. That really fits you. On, only. To the sense where um, you have to make like one of those huge, huge decisions, and, yeah. that, and that's where you like look up to Tony Stark. Well, not just that. Like to me, Tom Holland is kind of awkward. We we got bit. lucky back, guys. We're gonna catch him up real quick. Uh, basically, we're comparing our um, personality yeah. trait to uh, Marvel characters, and uh, we we looked yours up too, and yours came out to what? Wait, um, before before we tell him, <laughs> let's tell him ours. Oh. <laughs> so Toby is uh, Iron Man, Tony Stark's. Sam's Captain America, and I am Tom Holland Spider Man. Tom Holland, he, I, so, I like to say Tobey Maguire, but no, Tobey Maguire is just <laughs> kind of boring. Tom Holland is like the awkward kid, and that's what I feel like. Yeah. And Lucky, guess try to guess which try one to you guess came what up. Marvel character yours was? Uh, man, I have X Men. I don't know. Oh, you're, you're close. You are very close. You are very close. Wolverine, oh, the Professor. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. There you yeah, go. And then he cuts yeah, off. Bro. That's all you need to say, bro. You can cut off all you want now. You're done. <laughs> bro, you are hey. spot. You are spot on, bro. You, you, yours I'm came back. Sir. That's Professor X, man. You, you came back with that. I'm like, wow. You know, you're spot on. <laughs> now, why, why do you feel like you're Professor X? You know, man, like, I always ask myself that question a lot, you know, and I, I always... Even when I was a kid, man, in, in school, like, I always wanted to be the main guy. I wanted to be the number one guy in school, in sports, in, in well, academics, I wasn't that great. I knew I wasn't going to be that, be the best guy in academics, but sports-wise, in leadership, you know, I held a president role when I was in kindergarten. You know? <laughs> <laughs> wow. wow. Okay. That's an accomplishment, bro. Way back. Yeah. Way back. <laughs> Uh, let me let me carry the crayons to the rest of the kids. <laughs> and, 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 you know, and, and I took a lot of took a lot of responsibility, and I think because I'm the oldest one in my family as well, right. so I kind of felt that I needed to take charge. And those were characteristics that were I I learned as a young child. You know what I mean? And and I think me being a first generation refugee, taking care of my parents in a different sense because they didn't speak English and all that. It molded me to become a leader in the community. You know what I mean? And being an MVP basketball player in eighth grade. <laughs> oh my god! Oh man, he's oh my god! Oh my god! Hey, we we're, we're with Al Bundy today. Yeah, <laughs> we're taking this shit back. And I got most you most know, in, uh what 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 in what? high school? I, in high school, I was voted the best athlete in high school. You know what I mean? <laughs> There's a lot of things Time that up. are molding for me to be that type of characteristics. But I definitely see myself being that and. Um, I'm very proud of it and I've learned a lot as I'm growing older and you know and as I get older I'm getting more wiser being around different spaces and understanding other folks in in leadership you know what I mean mm-hmm. and in the work that I do today too you know what I mean and I think I'm the only one of the loud directors in this in Fresno Cali you know what yep. I mean? And there's not many there's not many loud directors. If you if you look in the spectrum of work, there's not many really loud directors in the space, you know. So 
that's why it fit me so well. And I think my upbringing had to do a lot with that. All I heard was you're most athletic. Yeah. In a school. <laughs> and I want to challenge and, that. Wait, and in a school that doesn't have a sports team. Uh, uh, <laughs> I know. Oh, you, you get a PE medal like me, too? <laughs> you, know, you know, it's funny. You know, it's funny because because Seha, Seha was voted the best athlete with me. And I oh, his him, feelings Seha. coming out now. Guys. Oh, oh, no. Now. Oh, no. You know, I did you get know, a medal I freshman know. year, too. <laughs> I'm just saying. I asked. I asked Seha, right? I said, Seha, you know I'm at more athletic than you, right? <laughs> and he looks at me, he goes, nah, I'm, I'm faster than you, so I said, you sure you're faster than me? We're race right now. <laughs> and then that competitive nature, that competitive nature in me, knowing that I'm not even going to win, I knew I wasn't going to beat him in running. But that in me was saying, hey, I could beat you in running even though I'm the fattest guy ever. But <laughs> what? Kind of, you know. and, and this is the start of those participation on trophies. trophies. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, say how open the yearbook and said, "See, I got voted most athlete uh, of the class." <laughs> <laughs> all right. Now, with all this study or test that we did, Sam had brought out some notes that he's been taking. Oh my goodness! Let's, get to this Man, let's, let's roast. Let's, let's roast let's, one oh, person at a time. I've been all right. So. This. Now we're all talking about each other's personality and characteristic, but everybody has to have a flaw. Oh, so we want to go into that goodness. right now. We do have a flaw. And I, I, I'm, prefer, I'm prepared to um, kind of defend where I stand as a commander. So I didn't really have to read up on myself, right? I, I'm confident in, in, in what I'm going to have to bring to the table today. I don't know if you guys feel the same. So I, don't know. I did take notes though. I'm, so, I'm analytical like that. So, so Lucky and I didn't take no notes. We just came from just skimming through this thing. Toby and Sam they took notes. I took notes, bro, because you know we come on, we're analytical. So yeah. you know, we want to be, you know, like okay, we gonna want to be on point. Yeah. Hey, we came for like a friendly fight. They came for war. <laughs> yeah, that's two different way of thinking, right? We trying to win. We ain't trying to lose. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So we did a randomizer, yeah. and, and, and 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 you know the the crazy thing is I'm I'm looking at it. He's like, oh, what the fuck is Sam and Toby versus Charles and Soak again? I don't, yeah, I don't think I don't, I don't think that w that would be fair. I think uh, what would be fair is if we if we go through that list and if we uh -huh. kind of like say you know what is that you and then what yeah no I, I agree with, with I agree uh, with doing that as opposed to like hey let let. Let me and Toby grill the hell out of you two because no. we have all the wait, notes. Wait, we ain't scared though, right? Lucky, we ain't scared. See, you see, it, it's that it's that idealistic nature, right? Hey, we ain't scared. No, no, bring it on, bro. He had to, he had to reach on. out to Soak. Hey, come on, let's bring it in I together. Hey, Lucky, you can stand on your own two feet, Charles. Hey, because you guys go, uh, me and Toby or me and Sam, like, dude, what, no, we just no, part no, up. No, I was talking about the randomizer. The randomizer was, yeah, 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 I was okay, like, okay, oh, yeah, how did that happen? I was like, oh, this doesn't seem random at yeah, all. I was yeah. like, me and Toby again. But you know what? Let's quit talking. Let's get to it. <laughs> oh, all right. So. Who do you got first? No, I, well, I, I went down the list of um, the campaigner, the debater, and um, the protagonist. I didn't really read into myself too much. So there, there was pros and cons to everyone, right? Right. And I wanted to, to ask Charles a, a couple of these and, and, and to see if it's true yeah. uh, as a campaigner. Right. So and I see this in my in, in myself sometimes. But um, do you feel like you would what? let <laughs> me get on, get ready right now? All right. Go ahead, bro. OK. What do we got? So 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 when things get a little tedious and repetitive, do you feel like you have to um, push that role to someone else? Yes. OK. Because I don't like sick of that shit. Can, can, like, can, can you explain why? Well, because it gets boring. Like if I've completed a test before and you got me doing it again and again like after the third time but this, i'm like dude i'm done this is your task if you're gonna get paid like x amount of dollars an hour and then you have to do this put me on a different row <laughs> there you go that's like, that's what i wanted to yeah, see because like that's why i had a lot of jobs before where like i do the same daily task mm -hmm. and it just become repetitive and i get super efficient on it mm -hmm. and i'm able to do the same job when i first started it took me eight hours and six years in i'm able to knock it out in two hours so so when you become efficient at it, it took you six years in to do it in two hours <laughs> yeah like no no no, same no. Job. no no same job yeah same job but improved efficiency oh okay, yeah okay. but you said six years to get it down in two hours yeah. but from eight we hours we would have done eight it hours. in like a year or two right 
So now who's the idealist? <laughs> We're more analytical, you know. We think of a different way. No, to no. Make it more so, 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 me, I honestly, with me personally, when that task is handed to me, I'm already thinking of ways. I don't really go through the motions and, and then find it out later. I'm trying to figure out how to make it easier from day one. Oh no, I'm, I'm like that too. So six years in to get it done in two hours because I waste six hours. That's why I finish it in two. But see, he wasted six hours. Let's let's, let's go down the list some more. Okay, you, yeah. you we, yeah. we have a lot. So, man, so, we're, so, we're so, you, up. so you yeah. like where I'm going with this? I, okay, I like go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, let's see where where we're going now. Okay, we starting off with Charles. Right? Okay, so yeah. we're staying with Charles, or we're gonna go to someone else? Oh, we can start off yeah. with Charles. Right, let's just grill the hell out of Charles. Let's just go. Let's go. Okay, oh, yeah, I, I love it. I love it, baby. We should start with Lucky. We should start with Lucky. Let's let's go to Lucky while his connection is still there. Yes, while while he's still while he's still moving freely yeah he's gonna get mad pretend to freeze up and hang up <laughs> hey i'm going under the tunnel guys <laughs> okay look at sam he ready he I'm, I'm ready baby i'm ready so um waiting all week for this <laughs> hey you know what no no when charles brought i'm like wow I, I, i'm gonna dive deep into myself i'm gonna dive deep into your personalities so I, I might as well like like read up on on your cons as well. Mm-hmm. So uh, and and as a protagonist, so here's here's one that that might seem a little off. Okay, so sometimes you utilize human behaviors to serve yourself. Um, how true is that statement? To serve myself. Yeah. So so you utilize. Um, I think. I think I think when I was younger when I think when I was younger that could have been a possibility. Okay. However, that doesn't that doesn't de- define my character. No, 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 it doesn't now define that, anything. Yeah, I, I think now that I'm older that's definitely not. You know, and me being a therapist, I have to be, have some empathy and being very non-judgmental in the things the work that I do. And I think that as maturity grew on me, grew on me, I change that concept that persona and i don't think that's i don't think that's right in a sense i think it depends on age and the growth of that protagonist um Mm -hmm. but i don't i don't feed i don't feed off someone's you know downfall or energy oh no 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 i I, I never say anything about someone's downfall i I mean if 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 the if the opportunity is there and it's not like affecting someone's well-being like uh would it if it had to serve you in a in a way to make life easier on you because you know we're efficient at it? Would you do it? No, I wouldn't. Okay, I wouldn't. No, that that definitely, you know that that question does not you know perceive a protagonist. I don't think so. You know what I mean? And that is not that. I, I, think I know. I'm, different, different I gave him a hard ass question. <laughs> No, it no I don't think I so. Don't, I don't think it's hard. Uh, yeah, I don't think, think it's it was hard. A, I don't. I don't think that. I don't think it's that's the right answer. I it, mean, I don't think that's the right um, characteristic question. That, that, question that, yeah, I think you, you worded shared, it kind of wrong. Because, yeah. You know, I think it's more like if 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 I think the word that you're looking for is um, manipulative, right? Yeah. And, and and I think human nature itself is manipulative, right? Everybody is manipulative, right? In in one form even or fa- babies, no, fashion, yeah. If, if you think about it, right? Even babies. Yeah, they, but, but I don't they, get I don't get off joy off that. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not what the joy. No, no. Wait, one yeah. second, one second. I want to hear Toby talk or, about this baby thing. Yes. Yeah, so so so, so yeah. human nature itself is um, in in our, in our core, we're very manipulative um, beings, creatures, mm-hmm. beings, right? Even as babies themselves, even as little kids, little girls, little boys, right? They learn how to utilize that. So when they cry, right? They're they're re- when they want something. When they want something, right? They learn how to play against human emotion. They learn mm-hmm. how to say, "Hey, daddy, I want this." And you've seen it in TV shows too, where little girls go, "Daddy, I'm hurt. You know, I'm this and that." You- but really. You know, when the daddy comes over and say, oh, my baby girl and this and that, right? And they turn around and say, yeah, I got you. Right. You know, and they learn from a young age because that's innate in, in, in everyone's nature. We might not want to, you know, accept that fact, right? And as we get older, like Lucky was saying, we kind of master that in order to not do that. Yeah, so I, I think I, I, mean? I agree. I might have worded it wrong, yeah. but you, you do want to utilize someone's strength. 
and then in a small capacity, not not to the extreme that that you're thinking, Soak. So I'm thinking. Yeah, but I, I don't. I don't. I, I, when I heard that question, I was thinking more of. I, when I heard that question, I thought you referred to more in the negative context. Yeah, the negative. Well, no, context. no, no, no. For my, for my, for my to build myself up, it's right. not that way. Yeah, no. You know no. what I mean? No. I think, I think when I talk about having that personality, it's like my charismatic personality, right? Mm-hmm. My charismatic, especially with even with women in the past, you know that. Right. Now that is is something that I observe and see, right? And but I don't I don't use. I don't use that attributes or, or those feelings or, or those those judgment in that context. You well, know I think I mean? you got to use it um, in, in, in everyday life. Right? I think you do have to use it in everyday yeah, life. I, because for me, like, right, if, if I want free Starbucks, I'm going to flirt with that girl. Like, hey, yeah. hey, girl, you know, like. I you, never you got free Starbucks. Me, you want to give I'm me not a that little uh, <laughs> cinnamon powder on my whipped cream, you know, that, you know, she'll help. Oh, yeah. You know? So, so, so you would put cream. that cinnamon powder on your whipped cream, huh? So, but, so, you know, that's more like influencing, right? Yes, influence. If, another word for manipulating is influencing, right? Mm-hmm. And then, and that's that's a positive and a negative. Then we're, we're, whereas meaning, Charles, right? he doesn't give a damn. He'll, he'll oh, I, I can get a discount. If all you yeah. do is ask, what are you going to say? No. Okay. I'll pay full price. Yeah. I mean, I was going to say, you never got free Starbucks before. No. Nah. Free Starbucks. I don't go, time, I don't go to Starbucks that often. I'm, I'm you, not a coffee drinker. I'm do, not do you one get of those. free anything anywhere? I don't get free. Eh, I don't He's get handouts, charming, man. He's Captain Bro. America. Yeah. So sometimes like when I see, you know, say Starbucks and somebody um, say, oh no, this is the wrong order. I'll ask them, hey, what are you guys going to do with that? They go, we got to throw it away. Could I have it? <laughs> and that's what I'll get my free stuff. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> like, close mouth don't get fat. Like, even when I'm at an outlet at Kevin Klein, I'm like, hey, I need a discount. Can you give me an employee discount? And they'll, like, sometime give it to me. Mm-hmm. So, well, well, let's go asking. down the, the list, right? And, you know, I think we I should think... say, hey, is this you? you yeah, know yeah. What I mean, okay. Let's go to Toby. I... Me? That, is that all you got for Lucky? <laughs> I, well, well, I went, I went down one, one of each you can, con. I, I, you can start with me. Oh. Well, he skipped. Yeah, you yeah. To so, lucky. yeah. So, well, you know what? I want to go ahead and go to. <laughs> he wants to read my list too. Uh, go ahead, uh, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm going to Toby. Oh yeah, yeah. Why don't you hey, ask? You know, let me ask Toby. Toby. Yeah. 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 So the pros. Let me see if you agree with the pros. You are more interested in strategy than diplo- uh, diplomacy. Yes. <laughs> Why? That's easy. Well, because strategy, I'm. I, I want to win, right? Uh-huh. I don't want to lose. You know, I want to win. You it's know? all about to the execution, me, baby. Right. It's all about execution. It's more like, okay, yeah. If I know how to get there, I'm like, hey, you know what? This is the right way. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's make it win. And, and let's do it quick, you know, because I want to go play. Mm-hmm. So you don't believe in win-win? In a sense, I don't. But in a way, I do, right? It, it just depends. So if, if you're talking about win-win, right? Yeah. Some, you guys have to both give up something. Yeah. Right? To me, I don't believe in me giving up any. I, I want to win, you know? Damn, you're a D. Okay. <laughs> He's okay. a dick. <laughs> well, I mean, okay, if you're like Kobe Bryant, right? Yes. Does he believe in a win-win situation in these no. things? No. He want to win. He's like, yeah. you know what? If, if, if you lose, right, he gets mad. Yeah. Same thing with LeBron, right? right? And all these great athletes, even Michael Jordan, mm-hmm. he want to win. And we hear stories about Michael Jordan. What? He bets all the time. He bets on everything. Yeah. He want to win, you know? Yeah. And it's since you active. since you brought in Kobe and LeBron and Jordan, I'm gonna uh, go ahead and respect the answers that you gave right now. Oh, you think, <laughs> All right, I'm a great debater, guys. <laughs> great <laughs> debater. The masturbator. <laughs> okay, okay. And now the con. Most time spent in personal interests and hobbies. So you spend more time on yourself and what you yeah. care about. I mean, I want to be efficient in my work. Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, my work ethics is: I get up, I do what I need to do, I do it efficiently, and I do it as as quick as possible, right? And then I go play. Okay. And then what, uh, so how much time before you say, you know what, I'm done and I quit? Like, I don't want to finish this job because it's just not for no, me. No, I'm, I'm thorough with what I do and, you know, and, and, and what I do and how I schedule my day as a business owner is like, you know what, I'm going to do this job and I schedule in two hour blocks, right? Mm-hmm. So I know what I could handle in a day to day basis. Which which doesn't affect my productivity mm-hmm. and it doesn't affect my quality. So, so, so I you, found a perfect balance. So you predetermine the time to be most efficient. Right. And so when I wake up, I block my time. So I wake up okay. and say, you know what, from that, that's how I roll nine too. to five, yeah. from nine to five, <clears throat> it's all work. 
right? Nine to five, I'll yeah. work. I can't do this, right? But from five to here, I'm why doing I else. would not give you any of my cons on paper, Charles? Stop looking for mine. Oh my bad, my bad. <laughs> but that's how that's how I, I stay efficient, and that's how I I make time, right? And mm-hmm. and you know, being a business owner, you you could afford to do that stuff, you know. But it it does come with a lot of risk, you mm-hmm. know. So since Sam's talking about like he doesn't have anything cons or pros on his thing well, on his paper right now well, so, i mean it's my papers i'm gonna ask you this how comfortable are you stepping out of your comfort zone and thinking bigger and get, because i may not know the personality type but as on the disassessment, assessment you're an s and a c so you like stable uh, steady so yeah i'm an s and a um, I'm yeah a, so i'm a what the s and a d s and d s d yeah, yeah i'm an s and d so um, comfort wise, I like to be comfortable and control what I can control in an, in a, in the terms of outcomes. Mm-hmm. So I don't like failure at all. So so when I can't determine what I have in front of me in terms of success and failures, I do the research. Sort of like mm-hmm. to, sort of like today, right? Yes, I'm like, man, I don't know any of the protagonists and debaters and and, and um, campaigners and stuff right. like that. So I want a better understanding of where you guys are coming from and, and, and a perspective from you guys when you guys ask me these questions. So I, I looked it up and, and wrote it down. And that's just mm-hmm. me being kind of ready for the day. Yeah. So it, I made it part of, of, of my, my routine. So are you comfortable with failing? I am not comfortable with failing whatsoever. I do everything in my power uh, to not fail. Um, that, that's, that's, that's only because uh, in my mindset and in my perspective, if, if I'm not doing right by the patient's um, you know, mm-hmm. charts and I'm not giving them outcomes they deserve, then I kind of fail as is already. Yeah, but how do you handle failure? Because in order to be successful, right, mm-hmm. you have to fail. So when I exactly what I was when I when I fail, <laughs> I take it the hardest uh, possible, and, and I better myself. So so when I fail, I take it really hard, and then and guess what? You're gonna get a different person, and and if this scenario came up, I guarantee you a different outcome every time. Mm-hmm. What so, about you, Lucky? Do you how do you handle failures? Man, um, you know, I, 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 um, I honestly get a little hurtful, depressed for a bit, um, you know, and, and I don't, I don't take failures, um, you know, I don't take failures where I need to take it, you know, and I'm down on myself, you know what I mean? I, I don't sleep well. Wow. I don't eat well. Wow. Um, I, I'm hard on myself a lot, you know, and mm-hmm. because, because yeah, of my, sure because of my director personality, I'm the leader of the group. And if I fail, then that means that I let my teammates down. Mm-hmm. You know, I put, I put myself in a high category because I'm responsible for making decisions. You know what I mean? And it's like the livelihood of everybody else that, that even in my job today, if I don't pro- progress or expand or meet the outcome goals of the organization, then dude, I might as well freaking resign. I might as well leave. You know what I mean? And that's yeah. how I am, man. And if I can't do it, nah. Failure has never been a good thing that I can, that I handle so well. And I think I'm learning that every day mm-hmm. as I go. Because I'm not perfect, but in times, I have made some poor decisions. You know what I mean? And those poor decisions, the outcome of it was bad. Really, really bad. Mm-hmm. And I think I've learned from that as I've grown as an adult, as a director, um, and I can only get better. But yeah, same like Sam, I don't handle f- failure too well. And wow. I never was able to understand that. See, you know the, I mean? that surprised me a little bit. Because for me and you, we think on a bigger scale and bigger pictures. So I am super comfortable with failures. Me because too. sometimes I set goals so high that... It's almost impossible to hit, but let's just say I set a goal of running a mile today where I could hit easily, you know, versus me setting a goal of running five miles 
And even though I don't hit the five miles, I end up at, say, two and a half miles. This could be a lot more than if I would have just set a goal that I know I could hit. So I'm so used to just failing. But every time I fail, I'm always a step ahead from where I've started. And then, and then the difference between me and you, Charles, is it's when I set goals, it's goals that it's attainable. Mm-hmm. And it's immediate. And it leads me to my next goal. Yeah. Um, that that could be daily, that could be weekly, that could be monthly, mm-hmm. right? So lead me to like a five year plan or something like that. So so that's me personally. I don't yeah. know how um, Toby, if you want to interject and, yeah. and how do you anything. feel about failing? I shrug it off and I move on. Right. You know, I mean, for me, like you know, most of my experience is um, it's not like it, it's main it's through experience through life. Mm-hmm. You know, and so I make a mistake. I like to always push my boundaries. It's kind of like touching a hot you know, mm-hmm. uh, burning stove, right? I would touch it. Oh, shoot, I know what it is, right? I failed, but I'm like, oh, shoot, I do that again, you know? And, and so I would shrug it off. But, you know, I used to feel the same way you guys feel, but, you know, once I learned that failure is a part of success, you know, mm-hmm. it's just like re- rejection. Yep. We talked about that, you know, in, in our last podcast, right? And, and I feel like, man, it, it's just a, a stepping stone. I'm going to be successful, right? And so when I fail, and, you know, I teach my son this all the time that, you know, you need to fail. I want you to fail, yeah. you know, because only then will you know the emotion that come with it. Right. And then you could deal with it and then you could shrug it off, pick yourself up and then you move mm-hmm. forward, you know. And, and so, to me, it, so it's just. I think, okay, he's, he's he muted. Fucked. I wanted to ask him a question yeah, anyways. Sure. Sure. Go ahead. So um, with, with the failures that, that, that you're talking about. I, I didn't hear anything from from learning those failures. So right. do you learn and grow or do you just like based off of my knowledge and my um, own experience? So, so for me as a person, you know, I've uh, I've come to term with my light and my dark side. Right. Like mm-hmm. My 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 habits that I have that, you know, maybe society doesn't accept. Right. right. And, and so I'm comfortable with that because that would make me a stronger person. Right. Because if I if I shun away that part of me, I'm I'm basically not doing myself justice to say, hey, you know what? I don't like this attribute that I have. You know, like I, I will try to compensate for that by trying to be somebody I'm not, you know. And mm-hmm. so I would be like, you know what? Fuck this shit. This is me. And then, you know, I would tone it up or down, you know, depending mm-hmm. on the situation that I'm at. But I would not change who I am. And. From that, I learned that failure, no matter what I do, whichever part of me accept that it's okay with. So, so what you're saying as a metaphor is you sharpen the sword you already have. Yeah, and, and you know what I do is like I do walk around with a sword. I carry it, right? right. I don't want to mm-hmm. use it, but there are times where I have to use it, you know, and, and you know, it, it will come out. Right. Know, See, and, and I want to add to that because for me, failure is not just failing no. when you fail and then you quit that's when you fail yes for me it's a lesson learned right. so mm-hmm. i did something it didn't work try a different route so right. if, like if i say you know what i'm gonna run two miles in 20 minutes and i don't hit that I, and i'm doing it at 30 minutes at least i finished at two miles now i just got like okay i just gotta pace myself a little bit more so i uh, keep doing it and i keep failing keep failing so I, then instead of saying you know what? I'm going to adjust it to one miles. I say, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to go for three miles. And now I'm pushing myself to hit the three miles. Eventually, I'm going to hit that two miles in 20 minutes. So I just keep pushing my goal for out until I'm probably never going to reach that goal. But I'm always going to end up beating the goal that I've set before. Yeah. So you're changing your expectations to meet a goal that you set previously. Yes. Okay. So like my goals is probably never attainable. But because I'm striving to hit the next goal. The goal that I set and that I failed before, I'm going to blast through those goals. Right. So that's why, like, I'm comfortable with failing as long as I don't give up. Now. But it's how much how much risk you're willing yes. to give, right? I mean, a lot of people risk a whole mm-hmm. lot, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're, when you fail, when you risk a whole lot and you fail, of course, it's going to hit you, right? It's yeah. going to be like, dang, I risked my whole house mm-hmm. and I lost it, right? And so it's going to hit you a little bit differently versus when you risk a grand, two grand, yeah. or whatever it is, it's going to hit you very differently. And you know? there's a big difference between failing my goal versus failing somebody else. Right. So, like, if I risk something and it affects you guys or affects my family, then that's a thing I don't want to fail at. So I'll probably put right. it as something where it's achievable. So 
I would rather fail myself than fail the people that has right. expectations for me. Yes. That's just me personally. I mm -hmm. think we all, that's why yeah. we're in this, around this table right now is because we have those expectations for ourselves and then we don't want to fail each other. Yeah. Whereas when we fail each myself, we learn from it and we grow. And, 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 and that, that's, that's, that's just human nature. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's growing well, I pain. Think, I, think, I, I also think that, you know, even, even for me, man, being the main character, right? <laughs> <laughs> look at me, look at me. Look at me, look at me. Hey, did we talk about it? Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, hey. I want to say something. Well, what you guys said is great, but look at me now. <laughs> hey, but as, as the main character, right, I, I have a lot of pride. Yes. So, so I have a lot of pride. If I fail, I'm an embarrassment to myself. And mm -hmm. that's something that I cannot do. Right. Mm -hmm. A failure, because I feel like not only if, did I embarrass myself, I, I think about people the way they look at me a lot. Mm -hmm. Right. I think that a lot because when, the way people perceive me is their reality. So I cannot fail at all. However, that's the reason why I'm so down on myself. because The judgmental part of it is one of those so, attributes that I did not like. So let me ask you this. then: does, does so people's true. perception of you have a, a major effect on the decision that you make i want to i want to say that's 50 50. because as as a protagonist i love comments i love when people say lucky you did an amazing job right and sometimes my decision or the things that that i want to do is based on other people's opinion as well i take that into consideration a lot Right. And and when I when you ask that, Toby, you absolutely right. Maybe 50 50. I do. I do feel that way. But from a from a leadership standpoint. So um, as a director, you have to take those uh, those questions and those laurels and and everything that's expected of you into consideration whenever you make a decision. He did say right. he's 50 50. Mm -hmm. You know, so it just depends on the situation. Like, he wait, wait. Saying. He said he, right. he said right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he said right. <laughs> yeah. You want to well, elaborate on that? Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm going to let you elaborate on yeah. that. No, no. No, totally. I, I'm 50 50 because, um, you know, I, I do take it. I do take it very hard on, you know, when my when my staff tell me or they give me a, an emotion, like, damn, this guy effed us up. That to me means a lot, and I take that. I take those feelings, those comments, those body gestures, the body language, very personal, because that's my personality as a character. Because I don't want you to view me that way, so I have to impress you. I have to tell you, hey man, I'm not that guy. I want to do better. You need validation. So, yes. Yeah, I need validation. That's how. That's, you, you look handsome, bro. Yeah, but, go ahead, Taurus. But, but that's no, not no. the society we're in, though. No, 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 because, like, on some of the cons that's on this paper that you wrote down, like, is eager to receive praise and often Im imitate heroes they idolize. So, is that his? Yeah, that's his. That's, that's his. Uh, oh, that's Lucky's. spot on. Yeah, that's yeah. spot on. Well, how, how about we go and read this stuff and then, you know, whoever that we're talking about, you say yes or no. It, All right. It, it yeah, is I, you, you know. Here, let's go from We're about running out of time, so let's, let's hit this list All right. right here. Here, Sam. <laughs> you want me to read? Yes. Campaigner pros. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um, tell me if it's spot on or not. If you're like, don't even mention anything if you're 50-50, okay? Yeah, yeah. Um, enthusiastic and imaginative, highly creative. 100%. Okay. You're extroverted, but spends a great deal of time on own about personal interest. Yes. 50-50 okay. on extrovert, introvert. Okay. Focus on positive and helps to uplift <laughs> others to be themselves. Wait, say that one more time. Focus on, on the positives and helps to uplift others to be themselves. Yes, because I love to support other people. Okay. Passion. Your passion can be infectious when focused on, on projects. Yes, because if I'm focused on something, uh, that's just going to happen. Okay. And, and you want me to go, go ahead, down go the, the, cons, the cons? Go down the cons. Okay. So I went down the first one already. Um, so Wait, Say it again. because uh, Prefers to let others handle administrative details and other tasks that they find tedious. I know my strengths, so those aren't my strengths, so I'll pass it off. Okay. <laughs> <Your> I leverage. 
You're superficial, <laughs> dabbling, hopping from one interest to another. I get bored easily, so yes, that's true. Okay, you scat, you're scatterbrained and uh, loses focus easily. Yeah, I do have ADHD. Yeah. So yep, you, 100%. Okay, too lax in meeting deadlines and has a hard time paying attention mm -hmm. to repetitive routines and details. I have no idea what deadline means. Mm -hmm. Okay. I get so, there when I get there. So, so that's, that's... Yeah, that's him. Yeah, that's factual. Me. We tell 100%. him 6 o'clock, he show up at 7. Yeah, Wait, that's true. But when it's business, I get there. Yeah. So when we first started this, this was That's a hobby. True. So mm -hmm. I'll sh you guys tell me six o'clock, I'll show up at seven. Yeah, you know I get what? there when I get there. He has been showing up before me for the past three times. I was impressed. Yeah. Well, when it comes to business, it's different because yeah, it's so, adaptive. So this is a business now, huh? Oh. Well, hey. the amount of time and energy we put into this and the, the, amount, <laughs> the amount of money that we have invested into this, this shit better be serious. <laughs> this ain't no joke no more. All right. And for our lovely man.